Hey guys, back with another video. This is a Hinderer XM18 3 inch Skinner. And this was loaned in by my buddy Gil. You guys already know the drill, don't need to go through it all. There you go, links down below. Yeah, this is small. <laughs> I know it's three incher, but yeah, it's kind of small. So let's just dive right into the specs. Four and an eighth inches over uh, closed. Seven, just just a hair over seven inches uh, open. Three point two inch, three point zero two inch blade. Two point six eight cutting edge of twenty CV steel. It is 0.139 thick. Overall thickness is 0 0.430. This weighs in at 3.4 ounces and it is currently on bearings. And this is their triway pivot system. And what that means, I, I know I've talked about it before, but they give you the, um, they tell you where to go to look to see how to change them, but they give you um, washers, phosphor bronze washers, nylon washer or Teflon washers, as well as bearings. So you can pick and choose how you want it to work for whatever your task at hand is. And there you go. Comes tip down carry, which is pretty typical of everybody but you can switch that around. This is their Skinner uh, style blade in Battle Black with the Coyote G10. I like the Battle Black. It's pretty much a, it's a PVD coated uh, and then stonewashed basically. I mean, I like that kind of a finish. I don't love the blade shape personally. I think it, it you know, it works, it feels comfortable, has the finger choil, you know, all in all, it, you know, it's a hinderer. You either love them or hate them, I think, right? They did a great job. Just the uh, logo there on the back side of the flipper, that's the uh, designation to show that it has the triway pivot system. All in all, your standard hinderer affair, um, and it's a it's great. It's a little small for me. I, I would like to check out the XM18 three and a half inch because I have that I own the XM24 non flipper version, um, and I love this one, but I think it would be a little cooler. If it was a triway, but we'll give you a quick size comparison with this guy just since it's here. I think the three and a half inch one would probably be a better size for me. This is big. It, it it's you know a four inch blade, but it works. I mean, yeah, it's big, but it doesn't feel big in the hand and doesn't feel big in the pocket. But I'm thinking the three and a half might be kind of that Goldilocks sweet spot between these two because this is actually too small for me. You can get a full finger, you know, the whole hand grip on it and it feels good. It just, I just don't know. It's just a little small and feels a little awkward in deployment for sure. Once you wrap your hands around it, I think it's good but just feels a little small and awkward to me personally. Whereas this one just feels right. That's why I've kept it. I've talked about that before. I got this in a trade and was gonna just sell it, but ended up just keeping it because yeah, it's cool. And I think everybody should have a hinderer maybe. I don't know. Um, but the triway system is the way to go. I also prefer without the flipper tab. And they do make some with no choil. I don't know if I would like that as much or not. I, yeah, I don't know. Haven't seen one, haven't handled one, so I'm not sure. But let's do a, some normal size comparisons so you get a feel for what this is. 
Sharpie. Spider Codelica. Very similar in size. So the hinderer is just a hair shorter. Yep, just a hair shorter. Um, and I already think that the Delica is too small in my hand. How about the Quiet Carry Waypoint? Again, a small knife in my hand as well. But the way it carries, the way you it, it feels, I think, you know, I'm okay with this one as a small knife. The Kubi KB237. And last but not least, just because, how about the Hellraiser P-Series? So yeah, this is a brand new one. This is going to go back to Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods here shortly. So if you are interested in this one, you can hit him up uh, and tell him that you saw it here. There is a promo code. You can get 10% off. I think these are like 465. I think everything from Hinder is 465 when you buy it. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of their universal price, right? Um, but yeah, if you're interested, hit up Gil. Tell him you saw it here and he can, you know, hold this one for you. You can buy it. I can ship it to you. I don't know. Um, if you're interested, that's an option. So, but the 10% is good on the promo code for anything in the store over there at Wild About Sporting Goods. So, thanks for watching, guys. I do greatly appreciate it. Um, have a great day. Not much sure, not sure what else there is to say about the hinders. It's pretty, I think, you know, yeah, hinders are hinderers. So, there you go. Thanks a lot, everyone. We will see you tomorrow.